What is happening guys? Coming at you with another video today. In this video, I'll be giving my picks for the Disney Pixar bracket. So let's get started. So the Disney Pixar bracket has really taken the internet by storm. It has caused a lot of disagreements among people. As you can see by the movies chosen to be in a bracket, it's no surprise that it has caused people to argue their choices. But without f further ado, let me get to mine. In the first round, we put together A Nightmare Before Christmas versus Beauty and the Beast. Now, I think I've seen Nightmare Before Christmas before, probably when I was a kid, but I don't really remember it too much. And with Beauty and the Beast, it is one of my favorites. So I'm going with Beauty and the Beast. Next up, we have Zootopia versus Mulan. Zootopia, I really did enjoy. I thought it was a great movie. With Mulan, I think she is one of the best Disney princesses and remember seeing the movie when it first came out when I was a kid and thinking that was a great movie. And one who could forget the songs. Whenever I watch the movie, I can still catch myself singing along to I'm Make a Man Out of You. So I'm going with Mulan. Next up, we got a battle between two princesses with Pocahontas going up against The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid I thought was a good movie. And who could forget the iconic songs like Under the Sea and Part of Your World along with many others. Pocahontas I thought was just alright, and I was not really into it like other movies. So this one goes to The Little Mermaid. Now this next one was really a tough battle for me. We got Hercules versus Aladdin. Now these two movies are really high on my list of favorite Disney movies. I remember Aladdin actually being one of the very first Disney movies that I ever saw. I love this movie so much and still watch it till this day. The music is great. And who could forget Robin Williams' performance as the genie? Hercules is another great movie. It has one of my, it is one of my favorite Disney songs, Go to Distance. It is the movie that first got me interested in learning about Greek mythology. Uh, this is a tough battle, but I'm going to have to go with the legend. Now this next one is not too hard for me. We got Frozen going up against Moana. No, I actually haven't seen Moana yet, so Frozen wins by default. Next up, we got a battle between Tangled and Big Hero 6. Now, with Big Hero 6, I think it it really is underrated. I enjoyed watching it, and you gotta love Baymax. Also, too, I really like the Stan Lee cameo in the after credit scene. That was a nice touch. With Tangled, I thought it was just okay. It wasn't really into it. So this one goes to Big Hero 6. Now we got The Princess and the Frog against Lilo and Stitch. The Princess and the Frog was a good movie, but it was, wasn't really for me. With Lilo and Stitch, I really liked it, and Stitch is actually one of my favorite Disney characters. I remember when they first started releasing trailers for this movie, and they did a couple where Stitch would hijack a couple of scenes from another Disney movie. Like Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast. I thought it was a good marketing tool. And it made me want to see the movie even more. So this one goes to Lilo and Stitch. Now this next one is a tough battle. We got two of my favorite Disney movies. The Lion King and Tarzan. Tarzan, I remember getting it when it first came out on VHS. The soundtrack done by Phil Collins was really great. I really enjoy watching this movie. The Lion King is a classic. I remember it being the very first Disney movie I ever saw. The music done by Elton John is iconic and there's a reason it's called the greatest anime movie of all time. So this one goes to The Lion King. Now moving to the Pixar side, we got Up going against Brave. Now I haven't seen Brave, but I assume I will still pick Up over it. So Up moves on. This next one is a really tough battle for me. We got Toy Story versus Toy Story 2. 
Now, these are two of my favorite Pixar movies, and it is hard to choose one. Both have great stories, are really some of Pixar's best work. Man, I hate to do this, but I'm going with Toy Story 2. These next ones, I actually haven't seen either one of them, but we got Coco going against Cars 2. Now, I heard Coco is really good, and that Cars 2 is really bad, so I'm going with Coco. This next one is fairly easy. We got Toy Story 3 versus The Good Dinosaur. The Good Dinosaur wasn't a bad movie at all, and I liked it. Toy Story 3, however, is on another level. It is one of my top favorite Pixar movies. Who could forget when you thought Woody, Buzz, and everybody else were going to receive a bad fate, only at the last second to be saved. And the ending where Andy gives up his toys was so emotional that I got, almost got choked up. So this is going to Toy Story 3. Ratatouille and A Bug's Life is next up. Now I haven't seen Ratatouille, so A Bug's Life moves, moves on. Next up, we got Finding Nemo versus Inside Out. I like Finding Nemo. It has a great story on how far a parent will go to save their child. Inside Out was alright. I enjoyed it. So, between these two, I'm going with Finding Nemo. This next one is real easy for me. We got Monsters, Inc. versus Cars. Cars was just alright, but it doesn't really compare to Monsters, Inc. So, Monsters, Inc. moves on. Next up, we got The Incredibles versus Wally. The Incredibles is such a great movie. It is one of my favorites. I really like the story and the family dynamic. And with Wally, I fell asleep watching it in my first viewing. So, The Incredibles move on. Back to Disney. In the second round, we got Beauty and the Beast going against Mulan. Now, this is a tough one. Both movies I really like. But if I had to choose, I'm going with Mulan. In the next battle, we got Aladdin going against The Little Mermaid. I like both movies, but only one of these really is my top favorite Disney movie. I'm going with Aladdin. Now we got Big Hero 6 going against Frozen. Big Hero 6 is a great movie. Frozen, however, is slightly overrated for me. I did enjoy it and I thought it was a good movie. But it just got annoying a little bit when everybody talked about it and kept seeing you let it go all the time. So I choose Big Hero 6. Now this next one is a really a tough battle between two of my favorite Disney characters. It, we got The Lion King versus Lilo and Stitch. Now I like Lilo and Stitch, but The Lion King is truly one of my favorites. So I'm going with The Lion King. Back to Pixar. In the second round, we got Up versus Toy Story 2. Now Up, I thought was a good movie. That opening scene, though I'm sure got to everyone. However, Toy Story 2, I think is just a better as a whole. So Toy Story 2 moves on. Next up, we got Coco going against Toy Story 3. Like I said before, I haven't seen Coco yet. So Toy Story 3 moves on. In the next battle, we got A Bug's Life versus Finding Nemo. Now, I enjoyed both of these movies. They are fairly close to each other, but I think I'll go with Finding Nemo. This next one is a really tough battle. We got Monsters, Inc. versus The Incredibles. I like both of these movies, but one of them edges out over the other, and that is... The Incredibles. So The Incredibles move on. 
Back to the Disney side. We got in the third round, Aladdin versus Mulan. Now, this is an incredibly tough one for me. But I'm going to have to go with Aladdin. Next up, we got the Lion King going up against Big Hero 6. I like both of these movies, but one of them is my all-time favorites, and that is The Lion King. All right, now going back to Pixar, in the third round, we got an extremely tough battle with Toy Story 2 versus Toy Story 3. These are two of my favorite Pixar movies, and it's very hard for me to choose one of them. But I got to go with Toy Story 3. Next up, we got Finding Nemo against The Incredibles. One of these is better than the other. They're both great. And I like them both. But The Incredibles wins this one. We are now down to the final four. On the Disney side, we got The Lion King going up against Aladdin. And on the Pixar side, we got Toy Story 3 versus The Incredibles. I sense an extremely tough battle is ahead. And this will probably tear me apart. The Lion King versus Aladdin. What can I say about these that I haven't said already? These are my top two favorite Disney movies. They are the very first Disney movies I ever saw. And looking at the bracket for the first time, I had a feeling it would come down to these two. This is extremely hard for me, but I'm going to have to go with The Lion King. So The Lion King moves into the final round. On the Pixar side, we have Toy Story 3 versus The Incredibles. Now, this is a tough one. We have two great movies here, and these are my top two favorite Pixar movies. But since I have to choose one of them, man, this is painful. I'm going to have to go with The Incredibles. This was a really tough bracket to get through, but we finally made it. So, in the final round, we got from the Disney side, The Lion King, and from the Pixar side, The Incredibles. This is incredibly tough for me to choose which one. We got The Lion King, which holds a special place in my heart, and The Incredibles, which some say is the best Fantastic Four movie we got right now. And I'm really looking forward to the second one coming out soon. Man, I really have to think about this one. Man, this is tough. I'm still thinking. Oh, man, this is really tearing me apart. All right, all right. I have chosen. Drum roll, please. The Lion King is the movie I choose. I love The Lion King, and there's a reason it's called the best animated film of all time. Man, that was tough for me, but I got through it. That's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment down below who do you choose. That's going to be it for me, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video.